Okay, so I've took the plunge and I've decided to go for a vacuum chamber and pump. When you're mixing up your epoxy resin, uh, it should degas if it's glass cast, which I use a lot. Um, and sometimes you can use some heat, but this is another option. So after you've mixed, especially if you're mixing large quantities, like buckets like this for big pours, you can then put this in the chamber and you can degas your mix before the pour. So I'm gonna put this together now. It looks pretty simple. It's come already taped up, ready to go. Easy Composites is where I bought this. Um, so just basically assemble, fire up the pump, make sure there's some oil in it, and we should have a degassing chamber. Simple as that. So you can see the lid is transparent, so you can actually see what you're degassing. It's quite a big, substantial chamber, this one. I actually chose a more professional one so that I don't need to upgrade later on. So I'll put a link in the description. I actually bought the kit where you get the pump and the vacuum chamber in one. So I'm just gonna fill this up. You can see, hopefully you can see there's a... Okay. Okay, so you just put this rubber seal on which you're eventually going to lay transparent lid. So the other great thing about this system, this pump can also be used for vacuum forming um, with silicons inside here and can also be connected to vacuum bags and can be used for laminating wood glue ups and veneering. You can fit a whole bucket in here, which is what I really like about this for mixing large stuff. I'm gonna put the bucket in to keep it clean. I'm just gonna be mixing a small amount to start with. We've got the liquid inside. You can put the transparent lid on. It's on. Now, very simple procedure. You've got a pump, which is gonna suck the air out. This is your release valve, so we're gonna shut that. This is the valve in for the pump, so we're gonna open that, fire it up. It's a bit noisy, and I'll speed it up till we get to the bubbles. So that's the bubbles to the surface. As I release the valve, you can see the gas being released and the resin is now degassed and ready for use. Thanks for watching.